Hey guys, Scott from Jail here. Gonna do a bit of a demo today and a bit of a tutorial on the awning and anti-flap kick because I know a couple of people have been having some issues with it. Um, so we'll start off with the awning itself can be set up in the quick setup awning. This is basically just a shade shelter. I wouldn't suggest setting this up if you're uh, planning a long stay in high winds um, as there's not as much stability as when it's fully out and I wouldn't have it fully extended either. So I'd always bring it in about a metre more than it's full extend. Um, once we've done that, if you are setting up, you can flick it out of the quick setup awning. Now, I'm gonna wind it out to where's the perfect setup for where the anti-flap goes on. So what we'll do is we'll start winding it out. And then once we get our feet down a little into spot. Now what we're gonna do is wind it out just until it goes to tight. You'll see it just start to sag. Turn it back a quarter turn, half turn, until it becomes tight again. Now, if you're setting up for the day, beautiful day, you don't need the anti flap or the walls on, you're pegging your feet down, and you should also have some loops on the front of your awning, and you can peg down again for security there. If you're going to use the anti flap for the walls or your own shade, first thing you want to do, I'm going to show you two ways to set this up lower it down. You want it at a height where you can work. So, both ends. Once that's all locked in, we can work on putting out the flap in. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is with the two jaws on. Now, if you can come up here and have a look on the actual awning. Here we have the awning, guys. So when we're winding in, this is what guides our awning in, locks it into place. So when you go to put your anti-flap on, if you go wide out here and break that, we're in a bit of trouble. So what we need to do is lock the mouth in. You'll notice this piece here, the top jaw, isn't flush up the top. It's actually got enough room so it fits under here without going under the actual roll of the awning. So what we want to do is stay away from that outside, yet we want to move up. And what I do, come on the inside here, is I hold it in the middle. So why, by holding it in the middle, I'm opening up the mouths here. And if I reach, now the awning is durable. You can pull on this, pull that into place and under here, and once that starts to go up, we're staying on the outside of our pole out here. Now, if the awning's not going into place straight away, don't worry, we can come back in and fix that up after. Pull your lever back up and over the top, it locks in over the bolt, nut and bolt there. I'm already in, worked out well. Lock it all up, and you're ready to put your sail track in, and your shade, your wall, the wall kit, whatever you like. Now, if you have a bit of trouble with that, with the jaws holding it all, it's not going into place properly, you can do it another way. You'll find this part a lot easier with the jaws. So I've taken the jaws off already. There they are sitting on the floor. I like to have a step so I can see that for the part two of it. But you'll see it does go on nice and easy for the first step. I'm all locked into place now. These jaws just lock in over the top. They've got a little groove and slot which slides in up here. So I like to have a step for this one so I can see above what's happening. I lock it in and over. You do have to give it a tap in to lock it in. Then slowly come along. Lock one in. Lock the next one in. Lock them all in. Same with the other end. Lining that up. Lock it in.
lock, lock, lock. Away you go. Put it, your walls, your sail track in, then adjust to your height, which you like. So the only thing is as well, once you're all set up, got everything done, you're packing away, undo everything. Undo, undo, undo. Unlocking off the lever, coming over the side. What I do is then lock this one in. It's only so that you don't have to worry about the jaw falling off. It's not a big deal if it does anyway. You can flip it back on after. Then making our way along. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Like I said, be wary of your awning guide. And like I said, the awning is durable. So guide it up over the edge here so that you're not creating a hole. If you just pull that down or pull this down, you may rip your actual vinyl awning. So once that's out, coming straight down, out of the mouth, and we're done. So I hope that helped, guys. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to call or hit us on Facebook, and we'll be more than happy to help.